Welcome back to the Math Guy, everybody. Today we are looking at simplifying ratios, so let's begin. Okay, we're going to have a look at these four questions here today, but first let's just remind ourselves what simplifying a ratio actually means. So if we look at this first example, we have 5 to 10, meaning that we have 5 of one thing to 10 of something else. Now this could be apples to oranges, cars to boats, absolutely anything. But essentially what it's saying is that for every 5, we have 10 of something else. But this might not be its simplified form. And in fact, if we look at this one, what I can actually do is I could say that for every 1, we have 2 of the other. And we can just check that that works with them all. 1 here, pairs to 2. 1 here, pairs to 2. 1 here, pairs to 2. And finally, our last one also pairs to 2. So our simplified ratio would be 1 to 2. But as we know, it's not always convenient to draw pictures, so we need another method. And what we can also know by now is that ratio is very similar to fractions. 5 to 10 is the same as saying 5 over 10. And what we know about fractions is that to simplify what we must do to the top number, our numerator, we must do to the denominator. And essentially what we're looking for here is the highest common factor of these two numbers. And I know that the highest common factor of 5 and 10 is 5. So I can divide my 5 by 5, which leaves me with 1, and then I can divide my 10 by 5, leaving me with 2. Therefore, my simplified fraction is 1 over 2, and therefore my simplified ratio is 1 to 2, just like we proved before. Okay, let's have a look at question 2, just using the written method now. So my ratio at the moment is 4 to 12. Well, again, I'm going to look for my highest common factor, and the highest common factor of 4 and 12 is 4. So if I divide my 4 by 4, I'll be left with 1, and if I divide my 12 by 4, I'll be left with... 3. So 4 to 12 is equivalent to 1 to 3, but 1 to 3 is its simplest form. Let's just double check that with the fraction version, which would be 4 over 12. 4 over 12, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. 1 over 3 is the same as saying 1 to 3. Question 3 now. We have 20 to 15. So again, just looking for that highest common factor, and the highest common factor of 20 and 15 is 5. Therefore, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 20 to 15 is equivalent of saying 4 to 3. Question 4 looks a little different, and the question is going to be, what is the ratio of apples to oranges? Well, let's quickly find out what the ratio is to start with. And we have 1, 2, 3 apples and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 oranges. Therefore, my ratio is 3 to 9. But is that its simplest form? No, because I can see a common factor of 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have 1 to 3. And we can just double check that by making sure that for every one apple, we have three oranges. For every one apple, we have three oranges. And for every one apple, we have three oranges. So we know we're correct. And there you go, that is everything you need to know about simplifying ratios. Remember, simplifying ratios is similar to simplifying fractions. We first find the highest common factor, and then we use this to divide our numbers by to find the simplified form. Here are four questions for you to have a little look at. Same format as before. Put your answers in the comments section. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, peace out.